There's magic in the air tonight. And anything can happen. I suppose you want to kiss. Kissing would be nice, yeah? Hi, I'm Vita Pritchard. I'm about to go to Paris to interview one of the animators and the video game director of the new film, Princess and the Frog, the first release. <laughs> movie and so when I talk about the movie they take about three years from the first idea to when you can see the movie full in color for the first time that's about three years but it's not like a lot of people work three years on the movie it, it starts out with the directors and some story people to work out the story at the beginning and that might take a year and then once that's finished and the story is really working then all the animators come in and animate, and we animate for about a year and a half on the movie. And, and that's about the same time the video game starts. Is after that first year uh, that they figure out the story, once they're ready to go into what they call production, that's when we'll, we know that they're going to make the film, and we'll, we'll follow suit with what Andreas and the animators do. So we have about a year and a half with the video games, too. Um, how does someone go about taking the movie? That, that's a great question. It, it's, a, it's a fantastic movie, so they made it very easy for us because it's such a great, compelling story. So what we did was try and take that story and frame it around an action-adventure game on the DS where, you know, one of the most, one of my favorite parts of the film is when Tiana and Naveen are frogs in the swamp. So that's where a lot of the action happens. So we, we tried to stay in that area quite a bit. And then on the Wii game, uh, we wanted it to be a, a multiplayer minigame based game. So we tried to find fun moments from the film that we could incorporate into games. What's your favorite part of the DS game and why? Um, my favorite part, that's a, that's a really good question. It's really a lot of fun. I, I, I really like the moments when Tiana is in her human form and in Cal's diner. And you're doing some of the middle, uh, music uh, rhythm games on the DS there. But I also do very much like when you're, when you're the frogs fighting the shadows and you get to turn them into various uh, platforms, whether it's a spring or a mushroom. That, that, that's really kind of a fun moment. Um, my favorite bit of the DS game for me actually moved the characters like in the swamp bit. Um, what was your favorite bit of the DS game for me actually moved the characters like in the swamp bit? How would you go about making it work? It just takes a lot of uh, trial and error. It really does. Um, as you know, in the DS game, you not only go like sideways, but we also try and make you go, we call it verticality, but you go higher and higher and then up and down. So it's almost a puzzle navigating through the swamp. Um, so we had, we had a lot of computer code where we were playing around with the, what's the best way to, to make that fun. And then we had to do the part where we had to make it look like the film, which was where the artists got very involved. So I'm glad you liked that part. Um, how did you both get into the job of switch you're doing now? Um, I got into, I got interested in it when I was about 10 years old. Uh, and growing up in Germany, I saw The Jungle Book. It came out at that time for the first time in theaters. And that changed my life. And I wanted to, even as a kid, I wanted to know how they do these things. And I wanted to know everything about it. But unfortunately, in those days, you couldn't really find out much about it. There were no books, or maybe newspaper article here and there. So I, a year later, I moved to the studio, even though I couldn't speak English very well. But I had help from an English teacher and just asked questions how can I, can I get ready to sometimes be, sometime later, be a Disney animator? And they sent me a letter back. And the most important thing in it they, was they, they said, if you're really interested in something like Disney animation, they said, don't send us any drawings of Mickey Mouse and Pluto. We can teach you that. You have to become an artist first on your own rights. So you have to go to art school 
go to the zoo and sketch the animals and observe them for a long time. You have to now draw the human figure and all that serious stuff. And then show us what we can do. So I took that very seriously, extremely seriously throughout my childhood and later and then um, applied uh, in 1979 and finished school though at my university and then been here since 1980. Um, I got into it um, sort of a similar story. I, I was a young kid about your age, 10 or 11, very much into cartoons, the Disney cartoons and the Hanna-Barbera cartoons. And um, for my 16th birthday, I got the Illusion of Life book. And that really showed me that you can make a career doing this. And then Andreas and uh, another band by the name of Glenn Keane were, were, were at Disney at the time and didn't know me at all, but, but they were kind of inspirations. They were guys that were heroes to me growing up. She's kind of the fairy godmother type of character in the film, so she's really... She looks like a witch, but she really is not. No, she's really she the, helps people. the good person. Peggy 7. Discover something magical in a place where dreams come true. I reckon y'all want a kiss. The Princess and the Frog is now a video game too. Swing to the rhythm. Play frog games in the bayou. Challenge friends. And stir up some family fun on the Wii. The Princess and the Frog.